Hey, what's going on guys, Zelda6 here and this time I have a tutorial for you guys. The new channel art has been uh, improved by YouTube. Now you can actually upload GIF files, which means you can have an animated background, which is really cool. And I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. I'm not gonna show you how to make this one specific because obviously everyone has their own uh, background. I'm just gonna show you this step-by-step -step procedure of how you can turn almost any video or animation into a animated background for YouTube. And yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna show you how to animate because that's not the point of this tutorial. Let's get started. Now we're here inside After Effects and we're going to create a new composition with a resolution of 2048 by 1152 and a frame rate of 10. Now the reason why I also put 2 seconds and 10 uh, frames per second is because the uh, file size needs to be less than 2 megabytes for YouTube to accept your background and the resolution needs to be 2048 by 1000. 1152 pixels otherwise you can uh, actually you can't upload anything lower than that I don't know why YouTube does that but alright so right now I'm just gonna show you a very simple animation if you guys you can also use a video which you can put in After Effects and use that as your animated background but I recommend you to do actually your own animation or uh, hire an animator to do an animated thing for you remember to put the animation kind of in the middle of the background that, that I'm doing right here because that's going to be shown on your band not the whole thing the whole thing is pretty much going to be hidden so make sure you have all the important stuff and the animation in the middle of the background exactly like there's like maybe only a few hundred pixels that are shown right in the middle anything above or below those pixels is not going to be shown unless you're watching this on TV which there are not a lot of people that watch this on TV and after you're done with the animation or the video you click on the composition and you go to uh, composition add to render queue and uh, I'm gonna show you the render settings that you need to use for this to look as best as possible now at this resolution right here we're gonna click on the lossless uh, thingy right here we're gonna select the H264 encoding I'm gonna turn the audio off because there is no audio in the render options I'm gonna set the maximum bitrate to about uh, 30 and uh, also the normal bitrate to about 30 anything else you can kind of copy from me right here I'm just gonna show you quickly what are my settings and after you're done with that you can save your file somewhere where you can easily find it because we're gonna need to import that file into Photoshop and right here we're inside Photoshop gonna click on file import uh, video frames into layers and right here the it's, you're gonna have to wait a bit for this you know Photoshop is kind of slow and it's uh, you're basically gonna select your video file that you just rendered from uh, After Effects we're going to select that right here you can see I'm selecting it and you're gonna click on open and again it's gonna take a while for it to generate so give it some time and uh, after we're done with that we're gonna show you how to render that out all right here it is you can kind of preview it if you want but most of you want to click ok and it uh, Photoshop is gonna change into something like this and right here you can also again preview your animation to see if everything is right right here in the timeline and if you can see that everything is right then what we're gonna need to do is click on file save for web and uh, right here I need to tell you a few things you of course you have to wait like always for it to kind of generate and it's gonna give you the file size right here in this corner make sure the file size is less than 2 megabytes right here I'm, I'm actually way below 2 megabytes so I should be fine if the size is bigger than 2 megabytes you can lower the color right here you can see how many colors it uses you can go all the way up to uh, you know 8 to 156 and uh, of course I put it to maximum because I, I have a lot of megabytes to spend I'm still not over the 2 megabyte uh, peak that I told you and everything else seems to be fine as long as you keep it uh, I'll below 2 megabytes or 1.6 megabytes for some reason actually um, YouTube doesn't allow me to upload uh, a file that's like 1.8 megabytes so make sure the file size is 1.6 or lower or you can try to upload it yourself but uh, then again uh, it's up to you to see if it will work or not now the final step is to click on save and save this and uh, after it's saved you can pretty much go on YouTube click on your channel banner right here in the corner uh, change channel art and uh, of course upload from your computer you can upload the animated uh, background that you just saved this one right here 
and uh, yeah that's it pretty much you can uh, preview it if you want you can change it it took me like maybe 15 times of you know just going back and forth realizing what what the best size was and the best animation so yeah experiment with it and you'll get the best results other than that see you guys next time and uh, have a great day